What is going on guys? My name is Peter Roberts. I want to share a message that I've kind of been dwelling on and also could probably relate to a lot of young people myself. As I'm 20 years old, I've been through the high school experience. I've been um, in parts of college as well as I'm still going. But I just want to relate and just talk about some things that I, I've, I felt as a young student and also a person in society. Um, and things that I just want to bring to attention to all you guys is that uh, it's okay if you don't have your life figured out right now. I just want to turn this on. I, I was feeling really inspired. Um, and it's the pressures of society that really took, takes us to a place of feeling like we have to be somewhere in our life. We have to be somewhere that to prove other people that we're successful, to prove people that we're happy, and that to prove other people that we're doing well. It's just the nature of the way we are, and the nature of um, the the, and the innocent and like small pressures in this world. And we can see that through um, social platforms, which causes that pressure, and also um, through parents, and also through parenting as well. But I just want to encourage you guys: if you don't have your life figured out, um, even people that are 50 and 60 years old don't have their life figured out. If you don't know what your plan is, I'm um, personally myself. I'm so anxious to try to figure out my life. I'm so anxious anxious to see where I'm going to be in the next 10 to 15 years. And I do find myself um, being impatient. I find myself at times when uh, I want to be at certain spots in my life, but I don't really know how to get there. And that's some of the some of those things that I just don't really know how to handle or, or, or take into concept or perspective right now. But I just hope that one day that I can look back on, on some of these days of difficulty and these days of not knowing or dwelling and seeing how I'm going to get um, through these motions or how I'm going to get past the simple challenges that I'm facing I don't know what lies ahead and that's some of the scariest times in my life and probably your life as well is that no matter where you are in your life you're gonna see yourself um, you're gonna have this path you're gonna have this vision of what you want to do but then there's times where you dip off and you're just consistent and you don't know what your next move is you don't know where you're gonna be where you're gonna be going in the next few days months or even years after you graduate high school or after you go to college or what your first job is what happens if you don't get that job that you've always wanted or what happens if you don't get into that school that you always wanted Something that I just see as a young person myself is I see how that affects the mental state of a lot of people my age, how it affects um, a lot of people our age and all those people who are um, being told that they have to go on this traditional path of college and has to take these traditional steps. But um, what I've learned and what I've read throughout my life is that if you want to live that extraordinary life, if you want to be that unique person, if you want to live that 1% life, you might have to take um, an untraditional route. You might have to take a more risky approach and more importantly, you must take an approach that is not like everyone else but more um, fitted to you and more suitable to you but guys it's so important and I know and I currently sit and think about this daily I think about this at night when I've had a long day and I've, I'm pressured with school and the pressures of my job, my business, and, and all the things that I'm trying to lead up to, and I think, and I'm like, I'm anxious because I want to be at a certain point in my life, and I have to realize and collect my thoughts and realize I need to be at a spot where I'm happy, and I don't care what other people think, and you don't have to care or think or dwell on what other people's opinions are about you, because if you're so consistent, and if you know what you want, um, it's going to be great, because you're going to know how to get there, and even if you don't know how to get there, because a lot of good things in life, you don't know how to get there, it just kind of happens, and you just kind of just falls into place, but that um, by itself is something you have to be patient about and something I stress myself is that you have to be patient to find, to find out where you're going to be in your life and guys I, I sit there at night um, anxious I want to get back to the point I sit there anxious wondering where I'm going to be where I'm going to be in my life what is my next journey um, how is college going to prepare me for the real world do I want to go to college and all these thoughts register in my brain and you might have these as well you might have these thoughts in your mind because it's just the nature of being young and the nature of even being old and saying if you don't have your family together um, and you're 25 or, th or 36 years old and you don't have that person in your life or you're not married and stuff like that there's certain society boundaries there's certain certain society standards that this concept and, and that you have to fall into and what happens if you're not at that point in your life what happens if you haven't achieved that goal that um, the majority of your age group or demographic has achieved how do you handle that and that just comes down to being self um, compassionate and understand who you are and guys I just want to relate to a lot of people my age and people who are worried about where they're going to be in their life or, or if they're going through this time and they're not making progress how do they escape this or, or just simple flaws and simple um, anxious feelings that are in your gut uh, and just, I just wanted to share this with you guys I'm on the side of the road right now because I know what it's like I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm watching myself dwell and be drowned um, in this thought of where do I be how do I become this person I've always wanted to be and I'm always sitting on the sidelines while people are, are judging you and people are making fun or, or, or criticizing your decisions in life and that's the thing that kind of irritates me and makes me um, concerned is that as long as you cannot 
value that person's opinion, if you don't value um, what that mentor or even um, person that you've cared about or whoever it is in your life that has some type of say in your life, if they um, speak negative about you, if they speak um, that you need to make certain decisions but they're not valuing your own happiness, if you're not valuing what makes you happy, then you're never going to be happy in life. And I just want you guys to encourage that no matter what you're feeling right now in life, no matter where you are, because I'm feeling this myself and I just want to be like as relatable as possible. That's why I turn on this camera is that I'm anxious. I don't know where I want to be but I know that I want to be happy. I know it makes me happy. And more importantly, I have them goals in my mind. I have them goals that I want to achieve. I want to be in certain stages of my life. But when I don't reach that benchmark, when I don't reach that um, opportunity or, or get that um, opportunity um, presented or, or something fails in my life, you gotta be so grateful. You gotta be, you gotta be humble and you gotta understand that you gotta be thankful for what you're working with right now. More importantly, you cannot dwell on the things that aren't happening in your life. You can't dwell on the past <laughs> ideas that have gone in, into your mind that just eventually escaped and, and never became true. So. Guys, I just want you to be so consistent. Do things that make you happy. Find the little subtlety. Surround yourself with the positive people. So surround yourself in uh, situations and environments that you're gonna dwell and thrive. And more importantly, don't be afraid to flip on a camera. Don't be um, afraid to do something that you've always wanted to do because you're scared that someone's gonna judge you. Guys, I couldn't trust this more. Yes, um, this might be risky. People are gonna see it from my high school or even college and people that um, know me are gonna say, hey, you have a YouTube or if you, if you post an Instagram post, people are gonna judge and comment on that but you just can't listen to that you got to be so in tune because if someone comments and throws negativity at something that you post and then you spent the time because you care about someone else and you want to share your truth with someone and someone has the time to say something bad about you or someone has the truth or, or, or the time to comment a negative thought that person just is a loser that person doesn't um, value their own time that person doesn't care about their own perspective and own happiness because they're trying to find it through someone else and more importantly they feel good they're so self conscious and so self insecure that they have to get that satis satisfaction and satisfaction uh, from someone else's um, opportunity and if they have someone that has the time to comment and leave negative feedback or disregard any of your opinions and have all this stuff going in your life um, then leave that person. Who cares what they have to say? And that's determining you, if that's pushing away from creating some content or pu pushing away from sharing or maybe having this opportunity of being more liberated because you can share your truth and, and tell you guys, other people, what you're doing in your life. Because guys, I'm going through a lot myself and I just wanna share this with the world and, and share this with you guys because I know what you're feeling. I know what people my age are going through right now. I know people that have gone to college and have had that four year experience of that vacation. They come back and they're lost because they were supposed to get that job that they never got. They were supposed to um, have their life set up after college yet they're scrambling. Their mind is racing. They're not in the position where they want to be. And they, and they sit down and they talk to me. I'm like, Hey, I'm there too. We're young. We're, we're trying to figure out our lives together. I don't care how old you are or, or what you're going through. And, and it's something like whatever your, your problem is, whatever your little um, hobbies are, your little niche, whatever you're good at, there's a millions of people in this world that are similar to you and are, are going through what you're going through. But your little um, independent like flaws and needs and all that stuff is so unique to you. So guys, I just want to encourage wherever you are. Um, there's probably so many um, people going through this as well. If you, if you're, if you have any questions or even if you want to just respond and build this community, guys, leave in comments. Um, I'll, I'll leave my Instagram. I would love to hear from you and, and share your story with me because I know a lot of people are going through some troubles in their life and, and life is scary for, for sure, but um, if you're anxious, if you're, if you're doubting things, if you're, if, you're, if you're going through this rough phase in your life and you don't have your life figured out, it's okay. Um, there's 50 and 80 year olds who don't have their life figured out. It just happens and I couldn't believe you guys. Just take time, be patient. I tell this myself all the time is to sit back, relax, enjoy the emotions and one thing that I want to leave you guys with one practical tip is what I do is at the end of the night while I'm there anxious sometimes I'm tired I've had a long day of work I'm going out and, and distressing and going to school and all that stuff and I sit down and I said hey did I do one thing or two things or three things that allowed me to be in a better position when I wake up tomorrow? Did I do something that will allow my future to be more bright or, or more successful? Did I, did I make more money? Did I educate myself? Did I um, um, learn a new skill? Did I try or practice something? Did I um, step out of my comfort zone? Did I do something that I would have never done? And that's what you guys should ask yourself. There's the five things that I kind of go through in my mind um, that allow me to see, hey, yeah, I did make some progress today. And um, progress is going to build. That progress is going to build traction. You're going to see that you're going to making fundamental steps that's going to allow you to 
um, hopefully walk into the path or place that you want to be. So guys, I hope that um, was a little bit of something that you'd like to hear. Uh, let me know. I'd love to share more of this to you guys. And I was super inspired, so I pulled off on the side of the road, guys. I'm going to go home um, and get more of this going. So um, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day. And I know you're probably um, going through a lot of this myself, so I want to hear from you. I'm telling you, let me reach out, and I want to hear from you bad. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, I'll catch you soon.